Doctors of Reddit, what's the biggest case of faking it you've ever seen? 30 years slash oh woman came to the ed with such excruciating belly pain, paralyzed, oh god it hurts when you press there, must have oxycodone now. Ed doc said if she can get out of the ed bed and do 20 jumping jacks, we can give her the oxy. She did 20 jumping jacks, then got kicked out of the ed. Sounds like the woman who came into my dentist's office while I was working reception, sobbing frantically and saying she'd broken a tooth and was in agony. Wouldn't let the dentist examine the tooth, just demanded that she needed something for the pain. She got kicked out pretty fast once the dentist managed to get a look and said it was broken, but it was an old break and didn't even come close to the nerve. Doctor should get a side gig as a personal trainer. My mom's an ER nurse and she said once some crazy lady came in and complained hat she had the whooping cough. And whenever she coughed she followed it with a loud whoop. She's doing it wrong. That's a coughing whoop. Dr. Zoidberg has entered the chat. My cousin got glasses. Her 7-year-old little sister also wanted glasses because she thought it was so cool to wear them. So she started telling her teacher she couldn't read what was on the chalkboard. And she'd squint at home and go incredibly close to the TV to watch things because she said she couldn't see things clearly. Her parents got worried and took her to the doctor. She read everything wrong on the vision test. Everyone seemed convinced that she needed glasses. But the doctor was a little concerned because the tests indicated she needed really thick glasses, and usually that wasn't the case unless there was a family history of vision issues. Her parents both had 20-20 vision and her sister only had astigmatism. They all realized she was faking it. So the doctor told her parents in front of her that she'd need some pretty intense eye surgery so she'd be able to see without glasses. They even wheeled in a machine to make it convincing to say they could do the surgery right then and there. She freaked out, confessed to faking it all and started to cry. She got grounded for a while. I'm an ICU and ER nurse. We get a lot of malingering in the ER. One day, one of our frequent flyers came in and started faking a seizure and triage. Now obviously I know this lady and she's fake seized a million times before. But this time it's in the lobby in front of about 30 people, who have no way of knowing that it's fake. She's lolling around on the floor making a damn fool of herself and folks look horrified. I walked up to her and said calmly. Karen. What are you doing? To which this genius responds, I'm seizing. I told her to stop seizing. So she did. Had a patient when I was an intern feigning blindness. She would constantly be playing on her smartphone, only furiously trying to hide it when someone from the care team came into her room. The best was when my attending one day strolled PSD her room and and threw his hand up in a highly exaggerated hello wave. She started to throw her arm up to but caught herself halfway through, then threw her hand back into her lap and pretended to be staring off into nothing. I would never have expected pretending to be blind to be such a commonly faked issue, but reading this thread has changed my mind on that. A friend of mine likes to stick out her hand for a handshake when people come in feigning blindness. Nearly all of them instinctively meet her handshake. It's great to watch. When I was a kid I learned I could fake sick and get out of school. So one to two days a week I would get a migraine and hold my head and complain and I would get to go home. Eventually my parents took me to a neurologist who said maybe you just don't let him eat chocolate and sugar. I admitted to faking and was grounded for a long long time. I grew up the opposite way. I would get 3-4 to four migraines a week, but everyone thought I was faking it because most days I seemed fine, just because I was learning how to deal with them and try to act normal. It wasn't until 8 years after they started that I went to a neurologist who said I have chronic migraines. Which I dealt with unmedicated for 16 years. Now I'm on medication. I feel like my childhood was wasted. Ophthalmology technician. People pretend to be blind all the time. Go to check their eye pressure with a ton open a device you poke them directly into the eye with, and they go what the fuck is that thing? When I worked family practice admin, the clinic I was working in was A, in the country and B, had been passed along through various doctors over the years, starting from about 1960. Holy God, the old tonometer they had looked like something from the middle ages and the general opinion of the clinic was that it doesn't get used anymore. It was like a museum, the previous doc never got rid of anything, so you had drawers filled with metal anuscopes and things. When I was a kid, I would plan my sick days way ahead of time. Had an old thermos that I would pour leftover milk, meat, whatever. Leave it on the windowsill in my bedroom just letting it fester for a month. Of course the thermos was closed so no smells escaped. I set an alarm for the middle of the night, dumped the contents of the thermos on my rug and ran in to tell my dad I was throwing up and so sick. However, 
This thermos monstrosity filled the entire condo up with horrible smells and both me and my dad ended up puking into the tub at the same time every time we tried to clean up the rug. He had to take the day off work too. Needless to say, I never pulled that again. I was worried you were going to drink it in order to make yourself sick. Thank goodness that is not what happened. Years ago I had a patient who had been rear-ended in an auto accident a few weeks before I saw her. She had a history of lupus. She was decked out in the usual uncrippled paraphernalia, crutches, neck brace, elbow braces, wrist braces, knee braces, and could barely walk. I saw her a couple of times and she showed no improvement. One Saturday I was on call but had to take a back streets route to the hospital because of an event taking place on the main thoroughfare. I apparently drove through her neighborhood, because, wonders behold, there she was wearing old lady spandex power walking down the sidewalk, holding weights in both hands. I did not call out to her. Next week, she was back in clinic, with her um crippled get up on again. Hmm. A few weeks later I got the subpoena for the deposition, and it all became clear. No doctor but a funny story from work a couple years ago. Guy calls in sick for around 8 days, says on the phone he is really sick. Comes back to work the next week, tanned as FCK. This dude hands a medical slip to the manager written in Spanish, on the slip there is an official seal from some random Cuban clinic. Guy walks over to be with a grin on his face saying yeah I'm probably fired. He was fired. Not a doctor but a nurse once had a patient having a seizure. The other ER nurse and I knew she was faking it. He said as much. She suddenly stopped seizing, miraculously, looked straight at him and yelled shut up fat boy. He and I laughed so hard. He, the other nurse, was referred to as such, fat boy, for a few months after that. At least she wasn't having a seizure smile. My mom was an emergency room nurse. Years ago they brought a prisoner from the local pen and who seemed to be unconscious. The guards were suspicious that he was faking it. They checked his vitals and everything seemed to be okay. The attending doctor tried poking him in the foot with something pointy, nothing. Then he got an idea, they took a rubber hose and inserted it in the back of his throat as if they were intubating him. That did the trick he sat up very quickly coughing and gagging. Sort of along the same idea. Working at a pharmacy we saw a guy come in to try and get a refill on some pain meds that had no refill. After pleading that his ear really hurt we told him again we couldn't refill it. One of the other employees saw his step into a side hallway and take a pencil and jam it forcefully into his ear repeatedly, drawing blood. He calmly left and went to the ER. He came back a few hours later with a prescription for pain meds. My brother was an EMT for two years and he told me this. People will try to use the ambulance as a means for transportation from Fulton to Oswego, because the hospital is in Oswego, by faking seizures. Sometimes when the head EMT guy was feeling fun and knew that the person was faking, He'd say something like man it's weird that he's having seizures but not peeing himself. Apparently the person would kind of snap out of it for a second, weigh up the repercussions, then either pee themselves or stop faking. I thought that was hilarious.